name's Emma Dorfler and I'm an English teacher and cross country coach at Jesuit High School. With teaching, I think what I enjoy the most is seeing how students are able to make connections uh, between what we read in their own lives and the way that reading helps them understand others a little bit better. So when they read something and they're able to understand themselves in a new way or they're able to understand other people better, I, I really love seeing that. And then with cross country, I think what I enjoy the most is seeing the team develop. Uh, I think they form a lot of good friendships, running along the river at 6.30 in the morning. And then those friendships help them uh, be able to push each other more so they become better runners um, through those friendships, which is really great to see. So I didn't make this up, but it's a word that no one uses here. So I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and there's a lot of vocabulary that is specific to Pittsburgh. And one word that I like that I think is useful is the word nebby, N-E-B-B-Y. And it means uh, nosy, but in a friendly and kind way. So I think that would be a fun word to use more. I learned a lot in the Alliance for Catholic Education. And I think two of the most important things that I learned, one was to uh, approach teaching with joy because I lived in a community with five other teachers who were really good at finding the positives in lots of different situations. Um, and then the other thing that I think I took away from that experience was seeing teaching as a, a way to serve others, a call to serve. I had a professor in the program who um, always talked a lot about uh, the students were blessed to serve and I really liked that phrase because it reminds me that uh, it's a privilege to be a teacher. I feel very lucky to have this job, and uh, I do think that it's a way to, to serve others. My comfort food is oatmeal with brown sugar because that's something that my mom would make for me when I was a kid. Uh, so I went to Nazareth Farm in West Virginia on immersion with students last summer, and we got to practice wood carving, wood burning, uh, and so I really, I made this and I really like having a memory of immersion and that experience with students in my classroom.